And now we're going to the Long Neck Tribe in my rim. To get there, we're paying about $15 Canadian dollars each, which is 800 baht. So since we have this truck all to ourselves, we can even lie down, take lounge a bit, take a nap before we get to the Long Neck Tribe and start the adventure again. But you know, we're just gonna chill here. I haven't researched anything about it. We are just in the hands of our driver and we love it because we love surprises. Our driver is so nice that he bought us tickets already. Guys, the tiger is just right in front of me. He has big balls. Okay guys, so we are in the tiger kingdom and they are just right in front of us right now. Oh my God. We are mixed emotion because they are caged, um, you know, just and they animal take, cruelty and everything. But they take tourists inside the cage. Yes, so to get in actually, you have to pay about 1,000 to 1,300 baht. And we thought that's out of our budget and it's not unexpected and it's very ex expensive. And it's something that we don't really resonate with because... Yeah, I mean, it's a tiger, we see it. Like, I want to see it in real life, like it's here. And I see it, it's good. Yeah. I don't want, I don't need to go in and pay 1,000 baht. It's yeah. here, hold on. I will never go inside, I would be so scared. I didn't bring extra underwear. <laughs> if I am scared of birds, how much more tigers? No ma'am, no thank you. Let's go grab food instead, let's eat lunch. I've seen it though, like it's here. It's actually so cool to see one. These are creatures that we don't have in our countries. I see it and I'm happy. That's all I need. I don't need to touch it. Oh my God, Fabio, look, they actually like cuddle with it. He's singing at the tail like a microphone. Guys, food's here. Oh yeah, that's yours. Mmm, smells amazing. So Yanni and I decided to get some food instead of going inside. It smells so delicious, guys. Yeah, you have to eat it with rice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it's spicy. Oh, it's spicy. Is it? Ooh. Why food in Thailand is so delicious? Flavor. It's so flavorful. There's, a, there's some ginger in it. There's a lot of spice, but it was a spicy seafood. And it's very nice, it blends so nicely together. Okay, my turn to taste the food. I don't know if it's gonna be very spicy as well. I'm gonna take a spoonful of rice, mix it with the flavored minced pork. Oh, I think it's gonna be spicy. It smells so good, I just the aroma. Mm -hmm. So mine is like basil stir-fried pork or something. Mm. 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 It's just the right amount of saltiness, the sweetness in there, the minced pork, so perfectly cooked. Its texture is perfect. I want to try it. It's not very spicy though. I want to try yours. Switch. Alright guys, lunch done. We didn't finish. Too spicy. Can't even speak right now. Okay guys, next up, we are going to the Long Neck Tribe. Food was delicious, very very spicy. So if you don't tolerate spice too much, don't get spicy food in Thailand because it's a lot of spice. I just want to say one thing. Yanni and I have been dating for four and a half years and we never took a vacation together. Not a weekend, not a vacation, not a trip out of town. No, a trip out of town, yes. But never a vacation. This is our very first one together. What a way to start, right? We just arrived at the Long Tribe Snack here in my ring. <laughs> long Neck Tribe, Bunny. Oh. Not Long Tribe Snack. <laughs> long Tribe Snack. Long Neck Tribe, we're here. It's like the old houses in the Philippines. Hello. Oh, oh wow. Eight, oh, eight, eight tribes? tribes? Okay. 500 meters? Yes. Oh, that's oh, okay, close. so they're very close. Okay, guys, so the ticket is 500 baht each person. We're actually okay paying that much because. Fabio did some research and Long Neck Tribe apparently are 
refugees from Myanmar. Yes, they have poor access to education yeah. and health care. Yes, and so uh, us going to these places, you know, helps give the, them some yeah. profit for tourism. So that's There's good. There's eight tribes in here. Yeah, we have eight tribes, so we're going to see all of them. And the long neck tribe is right there. All right, guys, let's go. Karen people originally came from Tibet before moving into China and entered to Burma around Salween River. I sound so smart, don't I? I'm reading actually. Later, <laughs> later they had conflict against the administrators of Burma. Then a lot of them moved into Thailand. Their dressing style appeared distinctly as an identity of them as the clothes of Karen women. They are in the clothes weaved by themselves with the red white stripes across the body wrap a piece of several color cloth around their head. The Karen virgin is in white clothes. Mostly Karen people wear necklaces made from natural materials such as beans, jobs, tears, etc. <gasps> so if they wear white, they're virgins. Okay guys, so that was the Karen tribe and now just a wow, few steps in, in, we're entering the Lahu tribe. <laughs> Lahu Shibala. Laho Shibala or Yellow Mu Sir originated in the area near Tibet before moving into the south of Yunnan. At present, they are found in Chiang Tung, Chan State, Myanmar, and into Thailand. Their language is categorized in a kind of Chinese Tibet language. Their dressing appeared obviously in their identity in this black suit laced with colorful patterns and inserted with big metal earrings. The head of their men is wrapped around the red piece of cloth. Lahu Shibala people mostly wear silverwares. Oh my goodness. This is so incredible. This to me is so what it would this is a blessing. Okay guys, now we're entering the Hmong tribe. I think that's how you pronounce it. There's an H in the beginning of the word. Hmong originated in Mongolia. To avoid the coldness, they migrated south via China into Vietnam, Laos, and Thailand. Their dressing appeared obviously as an identity is dressing in black suit decorated with colorful lace cloth. Their women wear skirts having length in the level of their knee. Their men wear trousers with semi-full legs having the wide upper part and narrow lower part. Hmong people mostly wear the silverware as decorations. Oh my god, you should see how precise she is. This is a homestay, so people can stay in here actually. Probably Within spend spend like a few days or a night and that must be such an an elephant. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Guys, there's an elephant. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, he's coming here. Guys, as you saw, we saw an elephant for the first time. Oh my gosh. It's so magical because the elephant was friends with the guy riding him. And it's like the guy the elephant was following the guy's direction, carrying bamboo and everything. And the guy was actually talking to him. Yeah. Not and even using a stick. He was just talking yes, to him. Yes. Oh my gosh. Life changing moment. Oh. I'm like it's so emotional. This travel is crazy. Just crazy. When we think that it's this is just our day four of this travel and we have a full year of experiences like this I don't know what to expect it's just so amazing Lisu had immigrated from Yunnan south of China and Kachin Shan State to Thailand since 1921 there are two Lisu groups color Lisu and black Lisu the language are sino tibetan and Chinese the majority group live in Chiang Rai Chiang Mai and Mae Hong Son province in Thailand there is only colored Lisu group So next tribe is the Aka tribe. 
Akar Ikao means live for inheriting, peoples have their origins in Yunnan. Currently, most of them settled there, and then they gradually migrated southwardly for centuries. Those in Thailand migrated from Myanmar. The first Aka village in Thailand is at Ban Hin Taik, which currently is located in the area of the Doi Mei Salo. God, it's amazing. Her ears are pierced and she is literally wearing brass on her leg. Yeah. Ankles and calves. Yes, like this Ankle. one. Oh, the other one. You, do you, you made it? You made it? Mm -hmm. Next tribe is, are the long neck tribe that we all know about. The long neck Karen called themselves as Kayan. The village was settled in Kaya State in Myanmar. They are refugees in Thailand since 1985, which is the result of the war fighting in their homeland. So actually, people think that they, their neck is long, like it gets longer because they keep putting rings. But it's, that's not true. Because I remember watching that documentary and they say that they, the weight of the brass pushes the shoulders down and that makes the neck look longer. If they, if they take the rings off, they can die of suffocation because they don't have <gasps> neck muscles developed to support. Yeah, so they can oh basically God. their head will just. I know I keep <laughs> saying that we're so blessed, but I think not many people mm -hmm. get to experience what we are experiencing right now. And I can tell you if you have the chance, travel and go out there because there's so much beauty and so many different things you see. And it's not about just the culture but it's about the smiles that you see the people that you can touch emotionally and it's so beautiful guys we got magnets memories it's just something about it my family asked me to get them one magnet from each single place we're going to but that's gonna be impossible. My luggage is gonna be so overweight. Same, my mom too. Incredible. My heart is so full. We're not even dramatic because of this vlog. Like, ugh, just believe us, okay? <laughs> like, it's crazy. Like, it makes you realize so many, so many things about life back home and everything in general. The world literally is a full world out there. And like Fabio said earlier, if you get a chance, go travel. Like, the world is so huge. There's so much to see for us to be staying in one place. I guess we're not stopping after a year. I don't want to stop <laughs> after a year. I don't like. I don't care if I have no insurance. I don't care if I have. I go, I'm gonna be broke. I don't care if I don't have retirement, saving plans, whatever. These people don't. <sighs> and now we are checking out this church. It's actually a Christian church. St. Nicholas Church. St. Nicholas Church. Guys, what an amazing experience. My heart is so full. It's so full. My tummy too, it's full. <laughs> we can see that. So we're gonna close the vlog here. Um, it was a very emotional, very insightful trip to the Long Neck and all the other tribes. I thought it was all Long Neck, but there's a lot of other different tribes and they're just feet meters apart and from each other. So that's very cool. But anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna call it a night and we're gonna stay at our Airbnb. <laughs> Fabio's gonna give you a house tour. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to a new video. <laughs> this is our mini house tour. <laughs> just kidding. Anyway, bye guys. Bye. Bye. Come to Chiang Mai. Support the local long neck tribes and the other tribes. And if you're curious, I think this is elephant poop. It's elephant shit.
Let's step on it for good luck. <laughs> <laughs>